Hello, everyone. Yeah, I'm Natasha, and this is Francesca. Look around you in society and communities. Would you say that things are working? We feel that our top-down system for delivering public services and supporting people and communities needs to change. If you're not represented at the top, your needs are unlikely to be being met. As um, funding cuts and as the problems that we're facing get ever more complex, we're needing new approaches. As a wise man once said, we can't solve problems using the same thinking that we used when we created them. There's been a reckoning, and I think we all know that we need to do things differently. More and more, we're looking back to nature, back to basics, back to local. Nature tells us that we can regenerate from the bottom up. And we believe that civil society organizations are the silver bullet in a new bottom-up approach to supporting people and communities. So first off, what is civil society? Um, civil society is any person, community, or organization working outside of the government to solve some of the biggest problems that we're facing and um, generally trying to do some good. In many cases, a civil society organization starts because somebody in a community identifies an unfulfilled need, a gap in the market, and starts answering that need. Take Kadra, for example, a Somali woman from West London, this lovely, legendary woman in the red, also in red. Um, she wanted to do something about the fact that her community are socially and economically excluded. She started a charity called Macro to support them. We see time and time again through our work that organizations like Macro fill the gaps in public services. Whether they're being supported and resourced or not, they're the ones picking up the slack. They reach those currently let down by the system. So organizations like, like Macro are so brilliant because they're agile, they're sincerely motivated, and trusted by their communities, and extremely knowledgeable of them as well. So if we want health, equality, and cohesion, we need to leverage all the potential that these type of organizations have. Not doing so is an inefficiency. So how can we leverage civil society? What do organizations like Macro, people like Kadra need? Well, definitely they need funding. Um, but having been under-resourced and overworked for far too long, they also need capacity and innovation. And that's where we and our team come in. Um, in our experience, Organizations like Macro do not need to be told what to do. They simply need external support to get key activities and, and projects off the ground and over the line from a specialist who gets it and who shares their passion, but of course, which is affordable as well. So, what did we do for Macro? We supported them to secure funding from two local authorities by evidencing their amazing impact. And now they're running a prison project and the project's about mental health, which is no small feat. Macro are an amazing example of the type of organization we work with, but as a marginalized community, they achieve what they achieve against the odds. If we want civil society to be effective, it needs to be more representative of the communities that need it most. And that's why we started our flagship initiative, Steps to Sustainability. We provide free support to organizations led by and for marginalized communities. So more people can be supported by more organizations like MACWE. Steps to Sustainability is, is commissioned by funders um, and corporates that want to make a difference in the communities around them. And so far, we've worked with over 100 organizations across the UK, across London, the Northeast, the Northwest, and the Midlands. And, and collectively, we've raised over 800,000 pounds to keep these organizations going. We're also commissioned by organizations at the top to do research. Funders, housing associations, think tanks, and philanthropists. These organizations want to do a better job of working with communities and supporting civil society, and we help them to do this. We work with clients according to their availability. Working with clients 
on more commercial terms, these bigger clients working on more commercial terms means that we still get to work with more under-resourced organizations that need our support. More and more, governments are starting to understand that civil society can do things that public services are struggling to achieve. And that's where, we, where you come in. By supporting civil society, you can make a real difference. You're not just putting money, you're not just throwing money at a problem, you're putting money into a solution. And we'd like your help to scale our initiatives and grow our organization. Thank you very much.